Grand family. Hope y'all having a good day. This should be pretty interesting. Got a got a lot of interesting topics we can talk about. Well, I can talk about. <laughs> it, it feel like I'm really talking to y'all. Like I'm on my couch in my crib. So it feel like the same kind of conversations I have. Um, when people come to my house, except, except it's, I got a computer and an and iPad in front of me. Um, so good morning, y'all. It's just me, me and the, the cat and the dog at the crib. Wifey's at work. My daughter's at school. So this is when I get majority of my productivity done. Um, except when I take time to go live with y'all, right? Knock out about a hour worth of my day just like that um that a lot of women don't seem to appreciate you know what I'm saying like it's 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 so amazing to, to me to see how many women complain about my page with all of the free shit I give to women you know what I'm saying like like the the same knowledge women pay me for to talk talk to spit to them on the phone I give it to y'all for free and chicks still complain about the shit Y'all send me questions, I I respond to the short ones for free. Women still complain about it. I put up insightful thoughts, insightful posts, things to try to get you to see things from a different perspective for free every single motherfucking day. And y'all and women complain about the shit. Oh, it's not nice enough. Oh, your tone is not right. Oh, it's not perfect. When they getting some free fucking game. These same women that complain about being heartbroken, about being caught up by fuckboys, by having bad dating experiences. I provide ways to fix all of that shit for free. And they still fucking complain. That is why they cannot have healthy relationships. If you if you complain about some free shit that can completely improve your life and your dating experiences. You don't do anything but see negativity from it. You don't apply any of the insight. You don't take any anything of value from it. And all you do is take use your energy to complain. What do you think that happens when they have a man that's treating them perfectly? When they're in a perfect dating situation, do you think they're going to see the value in it? Do you think they're going to see the benefit? Or are they going to focus on the negativity and the problems? Think about it. Think of this is this is why it's so valuable to have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of women that constantly see my content and constantly respond to it, because we can all take a step back and look at how the general woman thinks and operates. That's what happens. That's my favorite part of having a significant following on social media. I get to have actual real world, real time examples of how women resp- respond to stimuli and how they respond because y'all can type and say what y'all think. All right. So let me let me get started. So so um, I'm going to start out with my most recent post, which is a post that I put up talking about risk because I, I see so many women, you know, a lot of comments on my page. I see you see all these variations of the well, a man can still leave you. So that's why I'm not doing that. Your man can still cheat. So that's why I'm not going to do that. So every suggestion that you give them to have a better relationship is met with this universal rebuttal. Oh, you could do that. And a man can still cheat anyway. Oh, you could do that. And a man can still leave you. So I'm not fucking doing it. So so they have this this universal stubbornness that they that they stand behind on any and everything that you give them that to improve their relationships to make a difference right so i i put up the post it says women know that there's a risk of getting hurt or killed every time they get in a car and accept the risk with no problem oh i'll meet you there i'm on my way i'm headed that way can see a car accident on their way to some place and it will not stop them from driving. It will not give them any more fear of driving. It won't change anything about their behaving when driving, right? They can see accidents on the way to work every fucking day 
And it has no impact on their, their willingness to drive. But when it comes to accepting the risk of heartbreak or cheating that comes with dating, it's a problem. Uh, he cheated, so I'm done fucking dating. I'm never dating again. Uh, you can, you know what I'm saying? So it's like this, this extremely faulty logic. Because we all face the, the risk when it comes to relationship. When you open up to somebody and let and, and make it known that you care about them or you love them and you want to be with them, you're making yourself vulnerable. What does the word vulnerable mean? It means that you're success. Uh, what's the shit? What's the, right, that's one of the words I struck. Susceptible to being hurt, right? I know I probably fucked up the word, but that means you're you're vulnerable. That means you're you. There's a possibility that you could get hurt. A football player is vulnerable even though he has on a helmet and shoulder pads and and all this equipment. He can still break his fucking neck and be paralyzed. He can still get in in a situation that kills him. So football players have to accept the risk of being football players. Right? So when it comes to dating, you have to accept the risk of possibly being hurt, possibly somebody being rejected, Somebody falling out of love with you. Somebody leaving you for somebody else. So, you know what I'm saying? You getting pregnant and having a miscarriage. There are a lot of risks that come with relationships. So when women try to act like they're just not going to date because they they have to accept risk or they can't control everything about the scenario, it's like, what the fuck are you thinking? How does your brain work if you think that you're going to be able to, oh, I'm only going to date when I can get a guarantee that he's never going to cheat, that he's never going to leave me, that he's never going to fall out of love, that, that everything's not going to be perfect. Like, when in the fuck are you going to get somebody to guarantee you that shit? So if that's your rebuttal to relationship advice or suggestions on how to have healthy relationships, why are you in the conversation? If you're only going to date when you can get a guarantee that the shit is going to be perfect, you're never going to fucking date. Okay, cool. Sit back. Let the spider webs build up on the pussy hole. We good. That's your problem. You the one missing out. You the one missing out on the experiences, the companionship, the flirtation, the conversations, the dick, the tongue. You missing out on the trips and shit. We not stopping you. Ain't nobody got a gun in your head telling you you got to go date and fuck. If you choose not to do it, don't do it. But a lot of y'all don't do it for dumb ass reasons. That's the point that I'm trying to make to y'all. Y'all are choosing to do so for some stupid ass reasons that don't make sense. Because you have to accept risk in order to open up to the possibility of falling in love. You have to accept risk to have a baby. So if you're not willing to do that, just shut the fuck up about it and don't date. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the point in interrupting conversation about people that are willing to accept the risk, that are willing to date? What's the point in you voicing how you want? And so, so it's funny though, right? It's funny that um, women women are on the post saying things like, "That's a bad analogy." You know, so actually, one chick she posted some comments. I, I actually told her I was gonna read her shit. Um, cause she, she, she thinks she made sense. Okay. So it says this analogy seems a bit off base. My assumption of risk is the only drive as the only driver of the car is much different than in a relationship where there are two people in the proverbial one car. Okay. I love it. Now she, she sounds intelligent. She using, she using big words or whatnot. She just her her logic is, and and her thought that her thoughts are not really well thought out. So she's saying my assumption of risk is the only the driver of the car. A driver of a car has to get in an accident. They can get in an accident by themselves, or they can get hit by something somebody else does. You can be per, you can be a perfect driver doing everything right and still get killed in a car accident. So so to to try to make the point that. Up, oh, you're talking about something that involves two people. My 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 logic says that I'm the driver of the car. That don't mean shit when it comes to being in a relationship. You can do everything right in a relationship and still get hurt. You can do everything right in a relationship still not work out. You could do everything right 
and somebody else, they, they fall in love with somebody else or they're more compatible with somebody else. So that that she's trying to rebut what I said about risk with something that doesn't have anything to do with risk. She's talking about the number of people driving a car. Totally. This this is what frustrates men. They can make a very valid, logical point that represents reality. And women will rebut it with something completely unrelated that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Right. What else did it say? Uh, you're also not equally applying the standard. Well, first of all, I did not apply a standard. I talked about the risk that you have to accept for dating, right? So he'll get accused of doing something that he didn't even do or saying something that he didn't even say, right? Um, men use risk excuse for why they cheat. I've never heard a man say, I cheated because of risk. So they'll throw some bullshit at you that is total, totally made up bullshit that doesn't make sense too. Men use the cheat. Men use the risk excuse for why they cheat. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Have you ever? Have any of y'all ever heard a man say he cheated because of risk? Have y'all? Maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe out of all the thousands of guys I've talked to, maybe just none of them have ever cheated because of risk. Have any of y'all ever heard somebody cheat because of risk? So let's see, what else did she say after that? Uh, why not risk and be faithful? That, that don't really... Why not risk and be faithful for the benefit of what monogamy would bring? Does that sound like a smart sentence to y'all? Why not risk and be faithful for the benefit of what monogamy would bring? I don't even know what she was trying to say with that sentence. And then she ends it with, nonetheless, the analogy here just doesn't fit. So in her brain, she just totally kicked my ass and killed my whole argument on my posting caption. <laughs> Because like she came back and, and, and responded, and y'all can go read the exchange, but she responded to that on some like, <laughs> like, go back and read it for yourself. But this is what men deal with. This is what men deal with. And this is, and she had the time to type it and hit sin. That's different than when you're just saying something freestyle out your brain. But none of the shit that she said made any sense or, or represented what the fuck the point of my post even was. So can you imagine how a man that is not articulate as I am or not it, it doesn't study communication would, would, would handle a message like that? Where she, she truly feels like she crushed my argument and, and she's done. She'd be in court like, your honor, I rest my case. She felt like she really broke it down and I hit him with this point. I hit him with this point. When, when you really break the shit down, it's like, man, what in the fuck are you talking about? What, are, what did you read? It makes you question whether she really read the post or not. This is what frustrates men when they try to communicate with women about issues. Exactly what happened in that that one little comment. Nothing she said took away from from the point that I made, because the point that I made is a fact. You have to accept risk in order to have any relationship. That's a fact. You can't you can't beat facts. You cannot beat facts. Fact, it means something. It can be proven to be true. You have to accept risk in order to have any relationship. You have to make you have to open up and make yourself vulnerable to anybody in order to have, have a marriage, have, have a child, fall in love, etc. And so anybody that believes that they can they can they can come up with a way where they can they can come up with a short shortcut or a loophole to beat the system is playing themselves. That's why the women that Tell me on the first date, where are we headed? Where is it going? That's why they still fail at dating, right? 
And, and, and there are lots of reasons.